Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena. If you're new, I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos, and I would love for you guys to stick around. So please subscribe if you're not already, and also follow me on Instagram if you want more modest fashion inspiration. I post almost every single day over on With Love Lena on Instagram. So please join me on there. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 tips for looking expensive on a budget. I'm gonna share with you guys all my tips for how to put together a beautiful, sophisticated, very luxurious looking outfit outfit without spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Just a little disclaimer before we get into the tips, you guys do not have to follow these tips. These are just my tips to make you look a little bit more elegant and sophisticated in my opinion. So let's get into it. Tip number one is to dress mostly in neutral colors. And if you guys follow me on Instagram or have been following me for a while, then you guys know that I am a neutral fanatic. It just really does make you look super put together and chic and elegant and and you can find really beautiful neutral pieces in the like more affordable stores and they look really expensive and more high-end. Neutral colors are anything from camels to whites to blacks to grays. So if you are not the kind of person that can only wear neutrals, believe me, I know there's so many of you guys out there who love your color. My tip for you is just to balance out your color with your neutrals. So if you're wearing like a red top or something, make sure you're balancing all of that out with neutrals, like you're wearing white pants or some nude color pants just kind of balancing it out will help you look more put together, sophisticated, and ultimately more expensive. Tip number two is look for either solids in your clothing or very classic patterns like stripes, polka dots, or even like florals that are very like a smaller daintier floral pattern anything that's really loud and big patterns that just usually give off the vibe of like a little bit less expensive unless it's like a very well-known designer like uh, Dolce & Gabbana who has these really bright colorful floral patterns and it's like very recognizable unless it's something like that it kind of looks a little bit less expensive so I would stick to the more like solid pieces or pieces that have a very fine print those are going to look a little bit more expensive tip number three for looking expensive on a budget is go for a monochrome look so you can do this by wearing all black you can literally go to like forever 21 or H&M or any affordable store and buy an all black outfit and you can just look so chic and put together and nobody will ever think that you didn't spend that much money on your outfit you can also do this with all white I'm more of that kind of a girl. I like lighter colors So I would love like mixing creams and whites and just kind of doing like a monochrome light colored outfit It's just so chic and will definitely look more high-end and expensive Tip number four is to make sure that even when you're buying Affordable items just make sure that they fit you really really well You don't want to go around wearing things that are way too overly big for you or things that are way too tight on you Another thing that can make a difference in your outfit is actually making sure that you have a really good proportion to your outfit so what I mean by this is making sure that even though you're dressing modestly, you do have a good shape and proportion to your outfit. So one way that I do this is by tucking in my tops. That way you can kind of see a waistline. Another way to make sure that your outfit is very proportioned is to kind of balance out your more form-fitting items with looser items. So if you're wearing like a more form-fitting top, then make sure that your bottoms are a little bit looser and vice versa. If you're wearing two um, loose items, like a loose top and a loose bottom, just tucking your shirt in, honestly, giving you a little bit of a waistline will just make such a difference. Tip number five is to dress modestly. In my opinion, I may be a little bit biased, but dressing modestly to me just gives off such a more elegant and just more expensive, luxurious vibe. There are two ways that tell me that this is true. First of all, when you're looking online and you're looking for like long-sleeved maxi dresses, the ones that are long-sleeve are way more expensive. I do not know why. This is always the case, but it's always like the long-sleeved maxi dress, like the evening gown that has sleeves is just like thousands of dollars but then the one next to it that has like no sleeves is literally like a hundred dollars don't know why that is but it just tells me that being modest is a lot more expensive looking also in the royal family they have rules to dress more modestly because they have to uphold certain values for their royal family and to me that just looks so much more expensive than someone dressing in like a skimpier outfit so 
To me, dressing modestly does make you look more expensive. Tip number six is keeping your accessories to a minimal and keeping your jewelry really, really dainty. So I think of this tip um, like I think of diamonds. So diamonds are super, super expensive. So if you saw like a regular girl like me wearing this like big, chunky, encrusted necklace, then you're probably gonna know that obviously it's not real because she would have to spend like hundreds of thousands of dollars on this necklace. If I was wearing like a really simple, a dainty necklace with like one little stone, then you maybe kept guessing saying how much I spent on it or if it's real or not. So that's the way I think of it. Keeping your accessories like your bags and your shoes a neutral color and like really simple clean um, shapes and designs will make it so that you don't really know what brand it is or how much you spent on it and will just look really classic and sophisticated. This is a bag by Angela Roy. It looks like real leather but it's actually not. It's actually a really good quality bag without having to spend like thousands of dollars. So I would recommend one like that. Number seven is taking care of your clothes and making sure that you're wearing them in their best possible condition. This being making sure that they are steamed or ironed, making sure that you have lint rolled them, there's no cat hair all over them, and also making sure that there's no like tags sticking out or like hang tags visible. You could be wearing a dress that costs like hundreds of dollars, but if it's all wrinkled and has like stains on it or something, then that's just definitely not going to look expensive. So this is the handheld steamer that I use. It's by Conair. I got it off Amazon. It has worked perfectly for me. I travel with this thing you just fill up the little container right here with water and it just like steams your clothes it's so super easy I barely ever even use my iron because this just takes care of everything this makes it super super easy to like steam my hijab one of my pet peeves is seeing like little lines where the hijabs are folded in your hijabs and this just gets them right out it's just super quick and easy to do this right before you head out the door another little tool that I use during the winter time on my sweaters to get like all the like the excess fuzz off is one of these little handy gadgets I'm not exactly sure what they are called but it's basically like a little fabric um, trimmer basically. Tip number eight is to utilize the third piece in your outfit. The third piece is basically like the finishing touch to your outfit. So if you're wearing like a t-shirt and jeans, for example, like I am today, that third piece is this trench coat that I put over the top and it just makes me look a lot more put together. Vest top over top of the, your outfit, maybe like a really nice crossbody bag. Adding that third element to your outfit on top of like your top and bottom will really make it look like you pour, put more effort into your outfit and and will make you look ultimately more expensive. Tip number nine has to do with your makeup. So in my opinion, you don't always have to do like very minimal makeup. My opinion on that is to just make sure that your makeup is very balanced. If you're doing like a really dramatic smoky eye, make sure that your lipstick is a little bit more neutral, vice versa. If you're doing like a bold red lip, make sure that your eyes are a little bit more neutral. Just having that balance will show people that you know how to put yourself together and will ultimately just make you look a lot more sophisticated. So my last tip for you has to do with choosing expensive looking shoes so even if you're looking in an affordable store making sure that you're looking for those really classic silhouettes in your shoes will make it look so much more expensive and it will kind of keep everyone guessing as to where you got them so a style that I absolutely love and I think is so timeless and sophisticated is a pointed toe so whether it be a pointed toe pump or a pointed toe flat in like really neutral solid colors these are going to be classic staples for you and will also match a lot more things in your wardrobe if they're more of like a classic neutral color you'll find that they match a lot more of your outfits so yeah that's my tip for shoes I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new if you guys want more fashion content please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe and please follow me on Instagram at with lovelina I would love for you guys to join me over there I love you guys so much and I will see y'all in my next video bye